Morning YouTube. Oh, dishwashers, aren't they fun? Uh, ACR, Gulf Coast. I think it was you that was complaining about getting dishwashers with aluminum motors. How do you find out? Do you, do you find out after you take them off or before? I'm going to give you a little update. And you don't even have to take the motor off. Isn't that a pretty thing? Here's another one. Okay, see the difference in the plugs? Let me get my glove off for a sec. See how this plug is just one? That one is two. That one's copper. That one's aluminum. When they have the double side there, like the extra, it's a copper motor. So you can see that before you even start ripping it apart. I'm not going to go by how thick the stator is, because it is thicker. But they all come out of the same dishwashers. Now this is a stainless steel non-magnetic dishwasher, that's why it's in here, i got to finish it off. So anyways, so it'll save you from ripping them apart because you'll see that sticking out of the shell, right? See what I mean? So if you don't want to rip them apart, if you want to know a quick way without tearing them apart because they have these, uh, where are they? These aluminum shells on them. So you can't really get in there and scratch them or anything. You can see the difference in the windings a bit too. See the color difference? Once you do have them apart, come on, sit still. See how it doesn't look as coppery? They both have varnish on them. I had to scratch them. They both have the green and the red. See, green and the red. <clears throat> but I give them a little scratch. There we go. See the copper? Copper. Give this guy a little scratch. Well, I knew right away. I didn't even, I don't even think I scratched him. Yeah, I did. Right there. See the white? See the white? Yeah. Otherwise, they almost look the same, right? See, even that green is pretty darn close to that green. But, for a quick reference, when you're ripping these dishwashers apart, if you want to just leave the motor on because it's aluminum, when it's a single plug, it's aluminum. When it's double, see it's got the three extra wires, it's, or that's aluminum, that's copper. Just an update, that's all. I'm playing in here, got the heat going, it's only 40 Fahrenheit outside. The sun ain't don't want to shine because it's so darn cloudy. Uh, I got two fans that I got to play with. The wife sold all the rest of the fans. The woman's coming at 8 o'clock tonight to pick up the last two. And, uh, yeah, and they're asking for more. Well, this one works, but he doesn't have his little idler switch like this here to stop it from going like this. And it's been cracked. Other than that, the thing works great. It, it osculates. It's in the osculate mode. Works great. All three speeds work fine. This one here, you turn it on high. It takes about two minutes before it actually goes real fast. So, I think the motor's tired. So, that one might be coming apart. I haven't finished off the pile yet. I'm uh, just busy ripping dishwashers apart this morning. Oh, and these doctor's appointments are screwing up my time. And I got a mess in my garage. Look at that. I can't even get near my workbench. Everything is just all over the place. Like stuff that don't... Those pails don't belong over there. Those four pails or three pails. That one, this one, and this one. That one does. That's a... I have to keep him separate because that's all aluminum winding motors. So, which I will probably take apart. Those are all copper winding motors. So this guy will be added to that pile. 
So five buckets. Those pails haven't been dealt with yet. See, one, two, three. One, two, haven't been dealt with yet. All these haven't been dealt with yet. <laughs> There's more dishwasher motors. I haven't even checked him to see if he's copper aluminum. They're half and half with the, their shell. Half cast aluminum, half steel. Here's the other half. I don't know if he is or not. I haven't checked. Put Gubby on for a sec. I know he's got a stainless steel whirly bird. You see those? They're very simple to take apart. See one hand even. There you go. Two rivets or just beat them up. They'll snap right off. That is non-magnetic stainless. See? No sticky sticky. They add up quite fast. Every dishwasher almost seems to have one of those. Not all, but a lot. Okay. Are we copper? This guy's heavy. Let's find out. Where's my scratcher? Yeah, when he's that hard to scratch, I think it is. Looks like copper to me. Cool. It's another one worthwhile. I just have to take them apart and get these guys out. You can't, well, you might be able to cut the shaft. You gotta undo them screws, but sometimes these screws here are all non magnetic, so it adds up. Yeah, I think I need more magnets. <laughs> No, sticky, see. Yeah, see it's holding them. Bummer. But yep. So I got a couple more dishwashers to do. I got five done already. This is number six I'm working on. Five were non met or were just regular, so I have two of these guys. So I'm not doing a run to the scrapyard today. It's going on 11 o'clock. I'm just getting stuff torn down. Maybe tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a dry tickle in my throat. I just thought I'd let you in on that little secret so you don't have to rip it all apart. It's got the extra side plug on it. You can see that before you tear the motor apart. It's got that little guy beside him. If this is all you see, then he's aluminum. But if you see that, he's copper. So it should be two plugs. So anyways, little update. Not going to hold you up. Copper's getting more plentiful. Yeah, see, I even got stuff way over there yet that don't belong over there. Wife's a little ugly because I'm, I'm hor I'm encroaching on her little spot she has. So, but I did get him running. Got the part ordered. Hopefully this week, and we'll use it to cut the grass. This kind of time coming up. I don't want to kick him outside. I don't like leaving my equipment outside. Except my truck. But that's not designed to sit outside. I know lots of people that throw them outside. They sit all winter long and then they wonder why they don't start. Or when they do start, they just rough as crap and yeah, mice are in and out of them. So. <laughs> okay, I'm getting long winded. Copper's starting to build up. Working on pail number two. Magnetrons are starting to build up. I think I have a whole pail yet back there. Yep, there it is. See it way back there. Yeah, one of these days I find a nice sharp sawzall blade that'll actually last longer than the cheap ones I've been using. I've been buying those DeWalt little five packers. Those blades don't last very long. They're so cheap. They're 20 bucks for five. I buy them when they're on sale for 10 bucks. So I pay two dollars a blade and they just don't last. 
So one of these days I've been shot looking online, but I can't seem to find the right one I need. Carbide tip blade I don't want to spend 80 bucks on. And that's just for one blade. <sighs> wow, that's a lot of money. Anyways, like, subscribe, and share or not. Have an awesome day.